Okay, you guys, so it's the next morning and Taylor is still trying to get her sleep, but I'm gonna have to wake her up. She's gonna have to do her homework at school because it's gonna be late. And it looks like her mama passed out on the couch last night. Her daddy didn't go to sleep at all. I think he might be on something. T-Bone is miserable. He really just wants somebody to talk to, but we don't have time for it. And this kid is still here. Uh-oh, it looks like we're going to lose T-Bone. To be honest, if we lost him, it wouldn't be Taylor's fault. Why isn't her family taking care of him? She feels bad for T-Bone, but she has more important things to do. I mean, it's up to her to keep the house in order. I wonder if we have any mail, because if we do, we have to get these bills paid. Damn, the bills are high. We don't want to get repoed. Thank goodness we were saving the flowers in her pocket for a rainy day. At least we're able to pay the bills. But we have to start thinking long term. Picking flowers and harvesting vegetables won't be an option forever. Soon, summer will be over. And all those things will be buried and under the snow. And then how will she make enough money to get out of this stupid place? Unfortunately, it's a never-ending cycle. She makes just enough money and then it all goes to bills. Well, at least she's learning the meaning of living paycheck to paycheck while she's still young. Or better prepare for the future. Anyway, she has to go into class, so we'll see her when she gets out. So let's check on the parents back at the house, even though we already know they're not doing anything productive. Her dad is still on the swing. Her mom is just staring at dirty plates. Okay. And the dog's just sleeping, not doing anything useful. Um, guys, have you noticed that newspaper is collecting? Are you gonna clean them up? No? No one? All right. Hey, Ma, you actually gonna do something? Oh, you're gonna eat the food that you made pretty much only really for you? Not gonna clean anything? No? Just a thought, Luann. You could be a mom and clean something. Maybe get a job. Maybe. Hmm? No? Okay. How's the garden doing? Okay, this is seriously depressing. Like... The garden is dying right before our eyes. It's just withering and wilting away. When Taylor comes out of school, she's going to have to pick some stuff from this garden. Because pretty soon, there's not going to be anything left. T-Bone is so jacked up. He's hungry, his social is low, his bladder's bad, he wants to be destructive. Wasn't well, that dog smart enough to know that maybe he should get up and eat if he's hungry? You know, ask a person for attention? What's wrong with him? In any case, they're gonna lose their dog. Ooh, deliver a comic relic from Egypt or China to school to earn money. Do it look like we just get to go to China and Egypt? Great. Can't do it. Who's crying? Cause the only one who should be crying is Taylor. What's wrong with him? He knows he's about to lose the dog? Neglect. So we are really about to lose T-Bone? How come the mom don't care? She's sleeping. She's like, I'm good. I don't care. So we about to lose T-Bone then. Well, if you feel so bad that he's being neglected, why don't you go take care of him? Like, yeah, you should feel bad. It's your fault we're losing T-Bone. I mean, he's a dumb, smelly mutt, but at least he's our dumb, smelly mutt. I have a feeling that this is the guy coming to take T-Bone away from us. And I can't blame him. Can we get a refund on this dog food? I'm just saying. Yep, you treated your pet poorly, and the government is going to take them away. Oh, well. Bye, T-Bone. Nice knowing ya. See, this is proof what bad people they really are. They lost their dog. Is their kid gonna be next? Do they care? I doubt it. I bet anything she's about to go get another drink. Of course, she's freaking out, but now she wants a drink. See, that's not really feeling bad then. If you didn't try to do something to change afterwards, that means you really just don't care. Anyway, Taylor should be getting out of school soon. When she does, we're going to have to take her home and get the garden sorted out. She might have to actually go eat something first. Oh, thank goodness. School lunch. <laughs> school lunch is disgusting, but at least it was there for her. And at least she got her homework done. 
She could sleep in class, but then her grades would go down. We can't have that. She's so close to getting an A, too. If only she had time for an after-school program. I'm sure she would love to take ballet. It would be great for acting. But then when will she have time to make money and work in the garden? Get her homework done. Robbie's coming back with us from school. Um, have we improved our friendship with him at all? Uh, I can't tell. Aw, uh, look, he's gone now. Well, we can't do anything for him now. Field trip tomorrow? Yeah, we want to go to the field trip. Hopefully we can get something cool from the field trip. We're glad the kid's coming home with us. Um, obviously, he's tired. You know why? Because he spent the whole time at our house. She's tired, too. Well, I don't know what you're thinking, but, like, we ain't sleeping in bed together. Just so you know. It would be great if he could help her in the garden, but I know he can't. Anyway, I'm honestly really happy that she is making a friend. Why does it seem like she's taller than him, or is that her hair? No, her whole body seems taller. Okay, back at the trailer park. Home sweet home. Maybe if the mom could get up the swing, they could actually play together. I wonder if she has enough energy to play hopscotch with him. Oh, they can play hopscotch together. Wait, how come she can't play with her friend? Oh, is it because his models are too low now? Well, they could uh, watch TV together. I don't care if it does wake up the dad. He's an asshole anyway. And he knows it. Kids zone. And he can come watch with her. I would really love to know if I can get my money back on that dog equipment. I mean, we don't have a dog anymore. Pay $10 for dog food on a dog that I'm going to eat. Did he turn off the TV? We were watching that dad. Dumb, drunk dad ruining everything. Well, at least now she can watch TV with her friend. Well, with the potential kid who wants to be her friend. Why did he turn it off? Is it because he's tired? You know, if you're tired, then why are you here? Leave. No one wants you here. He's such a jerk. Is he, like, just spying on her or something? Because it doesn't seem like he actually wants to do anything to be friends with her. Either way, I'm sick of this kid. Go away. She needs to have some fun. Her energy is so low. It's almost time for her to take another nap. To be honest, I kind of want to buy her a sleeping bag, but she can't even afford it. I mean, she could harvest a couple of tomatoes, maybe, if she has enough energy for it. And then that would get her enough money for the sleeping bag? Does she have enough energy? Because that's the real question. Nah, I don't think she has enough energy to do it. Nope. Too low. Too low. Um. Well, since that dog is gone, we can sell the dog stuff, right? $18 here. 24 there. 98 there for the dog house. 215 bucks. That'll buy you a sleeping bag. Here we go. Let's get the green one. I would hate for her to actually have to sleep outside. That's just awful. Then again, there isn't much room in the house. To think, this is what it's come to. They can't even buy her a proper bed, and she can't even get a proper rest. She's just going to have to sleep in front of the house and hope that nobody sees her. I feel like Robbie is her real friend, so he won't tell anyone and make fun of her. At least now she might be able to actually get a decent night of sleep. How about y'all go to bed? Leave her alone. That would be great. And Robbie was so nice to try and stick around. I don't know why he doesn't actually go home, though. Like, he kind of seems broken. But I'm glad that she does kind of have a friend. Maybe tomorrow, since I think she's close to an A. Yeah, she'll have to work on her homework um, in the morning or something, though. But, uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe, uh, since they have field trips and whatnot, her energy will be better. So maybe if he comes home with her after school, they can be a little bit friendlier. She has a cell phone, but I don't think she can text kids. Wait, can she? Can she text kids? Let's see. Nah, kids can't text. She could call him. She could call him on the phone and be like, hey... Thank you for being, like, a good friend to me. You know, things like that. Parents are still pumping the keg, just getting drunk, getting crunk. Are they, How are they not juiced constantly? Is it because they drink so much they don't even know? He's sunburned because he stayed out there and got tan all the time. Why did we just lose $5? Is it because she just refilled the keg so she could go drink some more? 
Listen to request. Is this kid seriously gonna ask for like a bedtime story? Because like you don't live here, kid. Why do you keep coming to the trailer that you don't live in? And what is wrong with him? He's freaking out. All you can think about is more cigarettes than that dumb dog. Your daughter is sleeping in a bag outside in the elements and you don't care. You're still crying about the dog. You, sir, are dirty parent. Dirty. Well, she still has five more days before she becomes a teenager. Thank goodness. And then at least it'll, then it'll be a little bit easier for her to make money. Be easier for her to um, bring up her motives and go places. She can get an after school job. Um, this stuff still isn't dead. But she still doesn't have enough energy to like go through the whole garden and pick it. She needs to rest some more. I think we're just going to let her rest and we're going to fast forward through the night. And we'll be back with them in the morning. Okay, you guys, so Taylor has been sleeping all through the night, outside, in the sleeping bag, and there's, like, crows or vultures and maybe, like, jackals making all kinds of noise. Can you hear this? They are, like, circling her. They think she's dead. They're coming for her. Yeah, I don't trust it. I'm going to bring her inside. And, uh, apparently... The daddy is having another personality swap. He switched out uh, the slob and party animal trait for fanbot and charismatic, but he's still evil. So does it really help? I don't think it does. Um, I want her to get something to eat. She needs to have something kind of healthy, maybe some yogurt. And then she's going to have to go and wash up and go to the bathroom in the outhouse. Sorry, baby. I don't know why this little boy stayed here the entire time. Maybe he, he must have a bad home life. Because if he think it's better off here, something got to be wrong with him. So, she going to do her homework after she's done washing up. Her parents are still complaining about the dog. Like, their daughter slept outside. There was vultures circling her. Jackals waiting in the woods. And they're like, but the dog, though... The hunting dog, though. The hunting dog. What happened to our hunting dog? We miss him. Like, Porkchop was a cute dog, but come on. Your child's more important. She eating, like, old nasty waffles over there. Taylor don't even want to sit with her mama, and I don't blame her. It's bad enough they got to live in this dingy place. Well, at least the breakfast is filling her up. Because not like her mama made her anything. Well, she's not 100% full, but close enough. Might as well leave the dish there, right? Nah, don't even bother doing dishes. If your mom's not going to do it, why should you? Did her mama just steal her sleeping bag? Are you serious, mama? Mama, that's my sleeping bag. You go sleep on the couch like you expected me to. Taylor bought that sleeping bag. It's hers. Her mama should not be trying to use it. Ew, her mama's gross. Anyway, she washed up. She ate. I know. I'm sure that outhouse stinks. I'm sorry, honey. Now she's going to do her homework in this dark corner. Hey, uh, you know it's weird that this kid wants to stay around Taylor the whole time. At least he's, like, you know, being nice to her. He's not picking on her, you know? Oh, my gosh, you guys. Look at the garden. It's going to die. This is bad. Like I said, she doesn't really have time to harvest it, though. And it's not like she can afford a sprinkler. They have $110 in the bank. All she has on her is a book. It's $42, though. Maybe we should sell it. We need the money. Hopefully her parents don't spend it all. At least there's no bills to pay. Her dad's not in a great mood. He's still sad about the dog. He wants a cigarette real bad. Yeah, I bet he does. I bet he does. That's all he cares about. Her social is actually pretty low. Not super low to be, like, worrying. But it is low enough that, you know, we might be a little bit concerned. Um... I'm going to have her stop with her homework. She can do the rest at school. I want to see if she can finally talk to this kid. Because for some reason, it seems like she can't talk to him. Every time I try to make them, like, play, it doesn't seem to work. He's still crying about the dog. I don't even want to hear him cry about this dog anymore. Can they at least play hopscotch together? She can only play with her mama. What's wrong with this little boy that she can't do anything with him? She wants to make a friend. It shouldn't be this hard. See, every time, maybe if they watch TV together. Not like she gets to watch TV a lot, maybe he can join her. 
He needs to stop taking the waffles out of our fridge. No one said he could have these waffles. Yeah, that's right. Put the waffle down. We're gonna put it back in the fridge. Did Dad turn off the TV? He's such a jerk. We're watching TV. You eat that waffle. Well, at least they're having some fun. They're watching the um kids channel together. Mom's gonna go use the outhouse apparently. Why is he leaving? Stop stealing food out of our fridge, kid. Our waffles. Seriously, mad about this kid keep taking our waffles. Like, watch TV with me. Be a friend to me. Did the TV really just break? Are you kidding me? Our only source of fun and entertainment. Turn it off because it's making noise for no good reason. Well, she has school in um, an hour or so. Uh, her fun is still low now. I would have her eat, but it doesn't seem to make sense to even take food out of the fridge. I'm just going to have her come and wait outside for the bus. I feel bad that she wasn't able to, like, make that kid her friend yet. Um, she didn't get to have a lot of fun with the TV, and now the TV's broken. Can't afford to replace it. You know this is going to make her parents angry, too. She needs to change into her everyday clothes. Come on now, honey. Kids already make fun of you. Can't go to school in your pajamas. Her homework is 68% done. She has a B. She probably get an A today. Great. Now he broke the sink. So now we can't even wash dishes. Thanks, Dad. Thanks a lot. You ruined everything. Well, let's get on the school bus and get to school. I'm going to have her do um, normal effort. And I'm going to try talk to friends. So maybe she can make friends with Robbie that way. Then again, we also need her to work on her late homework. So maybe we need her to work on the late homework first. I just feel really bad that she can't even make friends with the one kid who's actually trying to be nice to her because she doesn't have time, you know? Anyway, time to go to school. Anyway, Taylor's in school. She's doing her homework that she's working on. And then afterwards, I'm probably going to have her talk to some of her friends. Um, her grades are pretty good, you know? I think she's definitely going to get an A today. Okay, you guys, so... Let's pause real quick, because we totally forgot Taylor gets to go on a field trip today. So she's getting out of school early, but look, before she got out of school, she got an A. Don't mind the homework, she just has new homework she has to do. But not only that, I had her talking to friends, which she only has one. But look, they're legit friends now, you know? So I'm very happy for her that she finally did make a friend. Hopefully this will make things easier for them, you know, when he comes over and whatnot. Now she's going on her field trip, so she's going to have fun. I don't actually see any other kids going on a field trip with her. Okay, this, this girl. Is this girl going too? I don't know. Well, I hope the girl she's sitting next to is nice to her and not mean. I would love for her to make more friends. Where are they going? They're going to the hospital. Hopefully they get something good from the hospital that she can sell. That's so sad that the only reason this field trip is a good idea is because maybe she can get something that she can sell, you know? Is her best buddy Robbie not going on the field trip with them? Because he's not on this bus. She's on a bus full of girls. Yep, here they are. But, oh, look. There's grapes over here. Um, We'll try to remember that. So when she comes out of her field trip, she'll be able to, like, pick those up. Yeah, her class is full of girls. Guys, you know what this looks like? This is totally Mean Girls right now. Seriously, that's totally Katie Herring. That's Gretchen Wieners. And I don't know which one is Karen Smith and which one is Regina George. I'm guessing she is the Karen Smith. I think this might be the Regina George. I'm not sure. Because remember when she got a little chubby and she could only wear jeans and sweatpants? Yeah. And she's still according with the on Wednesday we wear pink. You know? So yeah. That's what I'm thinking. This is the Mean Girls click. So these must be the girls who make her life a living hell at school. And now she's stuck on a field trip with the Mean Girls. Now I really wish she could have gone on a field trip with Robbie since those are the only people she has to talk to right now. This sucks. Is there something here that we can use? I think there is. Oh my gosh, there's lots of flowers. Abandoning the junkyard. You know what? Let's say the junkyard for winter when flowers aren't growing as much as they used to. I would actually love for her to come to the park and just have fun, but I don't know if she's actually going to be able to. It's pretty late at night, though. No one came looking for her. No one cares that she's out so late. God, the whole apartment is flooded. 